Welcome to a new episode of Democracy at the Crossroads, a platform where we speak truth to power. Today we'll discuss Prime Minister Modi's much talked about TV interview yesterday, lasting more than an hour. The ruling party and a host of courtier TV channels hailed the Prime Minister for speaking openly and candidly in a free flowing interview. They mock the critics who say that the Prime Minister flinches at the sight of a questioning media. They said, look, Prime Minister answered questions for 70 minutes. What more do you expect from a busy Prime Minister at the election time? But then the ruling BJP and those servile TV channels didn't tell the people that this TV interview was arranged at the behest of the Prime Minister not to answer critical questions but to provide the opportunity to the paramount leader of the government to report the criticism of the opposition. It was a fixed match or else why give interview to one person why can't the Prime Minister address a press conference like the US President or the British Prime Minister or any other democratic leader in any part of the world who do such press conferences every other day? Forget that. Even if you want to give an interview one to one, why don't you let someone like Rajdeep Sardeshai take on you because he has the credentials to ask some critical questions. But the interview was granted to Smita Prakash of ANI. What do you expect? ANI is more loyal to Narendra Modi than even Durdarshan, the public broadcaster. If Durdarshan is Modi government's spouse, then ANI is its mistress. What do you expect? A sanitized interview. Which questions to be asked and which questions to be avoided, decided in advance. And look at the format. The Prime Minister engaged in a virtual monologue and poor Shmita Prakash kept nodding her head in agreement all through. The hollowness of Indian democracy was exposed in that interview. The Prime Minister made the same trite arguments about the independence of the EDCVI income tax as he has been making in his election speeches. He starkly defended the electoral bond scheme which the Supreme Court has declared unconstitutional. He repeated the same specious argument that the electoral bond was an instrument of curbing black money. Even after the scam is out in the open with its all ugly manifestations of willing dealing, thanks to the Apex Court. But obviously it was beyond Smita Prakash's guts to nail the lie of the Prime Minister. But then, why blame Smita Prakash alone? She has to be loyal to the Mosdi establishment as a channel ANI has prospered under the patronage of the BJP government. But what should raise the hackles is the conduct of some so-called independent analysts. Take for instance one Rahul Burma. We are told he is a fellow at the CPR, the Center for Policy Research, the celebrated think tank. While all the 
critical voices of the Modi establishment in CPR uh, have either been sat or sidelined. Rahul Verma has retained his position and he has sufficiently sucked up to the establishment. I watched last night Rajdeep Sardesai's evening talk show on Prime Minister Modi's interview to ANI. Rahul Verma was a guest. What did he talk? His entire presentation was that of a cheerleader for the establishment. Like a true blue saffron baton holder, he said the Prime Minister was right. The electoral bomb controversy will have no effect on a mass leader like Narendra Modi's popularity. And people believe electoral bond was an instrument to fight back black money. He agreed with the Prime Minister that the people cheer not condemn as the so-called corrupt politicians of opposition are being held to account by the ED, CBI and income tax. He sang pians to Narendra Modi in every word he uttered how the Prime Minister exudes confidence how he evokes hope for the future while the opposition betrays despondency by presenting a dark picture. This Rahul Burma can be mistaken as BJP's spokesperson. And this man is being termed -term as an independent analyst. I can only hope the likes of Rahul Burma first learn some basic lessons in critical political analysis from someone like Pratap Bhanu Mehta before taking part in TV debates. In the mainstream media, Pratap Bhanu Mehta is one of the few public intellectuals who critiques the politics and policies of Modi establishment without fear or favor. Rahul Burma's other closet or not so closet apologists of the establishment passing off as independent. 